guns, no guns, just make love, no war. Okay, and now let's get started. Just from the scratch, uh, first of all I'm going to sketch uh, my basic lines, this uh, very basic um, pen tool. Uh, I use my preference to predefine it. Uh, the mechanical, um, resembling the mechanical pencil into the Manga Studio. Uh, if you'd like me to share the preset, I'd like to. Uh, then, after I uh, wrote off for the um, basic shapes and developed the basic tra traits, I'm going to establish the silhouette uh, in black which allows me to define uh, the final shapes of the future gizmo, of the future device, um, of the future gun, and it also allows us to have, uh, uh, to, 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 to envision uh, if it any um, um, formidable, if it looks uh, stylish, if it looks like a real gun should should do like also <laughs> you know this is all unloaded and like I said don't play with guns uh, then I'm going to check out how the lights comes through the surface how the lighting and trying to block in the light with the softer brushes uh, over the silhouette and see how it looks. It, uh, all the way it should look very um, uh, generic. It all should be uh, looking smooth. Uh, never oversaturated. Please avoid the oversaturation. It will kill uh, any any good uh, composition. Uh, so it, it matters because in our nature there is no such uh, bright light which could create uh, which which could uh, create such uh, temperature of course uh, much bright much saturated so uh, keep it with uh, the middle uh, the middle temperature of course uh, but this uh, very blocking with shades uh, will allow us to have uh, imagination of the main basic shape of our model. And then uh, the actual coloring uh, becomes a very easy peasy process. Mm, here I'm going to establish and blocking in more some uh, details because this is uh, especially pre-made for Umbra to Umbra uh, game book series uh, the um, special sci-fi uh, gun um, dispatcher and uh, it, uh, it should be different than the usual the regular gunnery and it, it should be obvious to us it's uh, it's actually it's different so let's uh, let's block in the crazy things inside so um, um i do i do believe all that uh, the very essential of any uh, design are is in details so details uh, which is my best favorite part and I do like to draw, I do like to sketch and I do it from whatever I remember myself and uh, I, uh, I, I nev never skimp on drawing um, as, I li as, as, I, uh, listen, as I've been listening from the other uh, guys uh, providing these tutorials on the uh, internet and they are complaining with uh, they are boring with much drawing and better will focus and stick on with uh, coloring I don't know I do I do love all parts of my art I feel the same and the feelings is what what is what what matters most of all 
and uh, here I'm going to continue to develop the shape, um, developing the petty details. Uh, every gun is essential with its beautiful uh, petty details inside. Any um, um, locks, uh, I don't know, triggers, some uh, some things, some buttons, some you know, quick. It's uh, petty details inside. Uh, well, uh, as you can see, this is more more revolver type, maybe because I'm under on the spell of my <laughs> revolver. This is, you know, <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not a secret agent or something. Um, but I do, I do. <laughs> this is my wife. She's presented me for, for the Christmas last year. I don't even don't know how to use it properly. But I use it as a model. That's for sure. I use it as a proper model for my concert or anything. So, uh, this is uh, the occlusion lights, how to pass this. How the occlusion lights is passing uh, by our shape and uh, by means of different types with changing the layers and their blending modes, which is most significant. Uh, we are changing uh, the way it looks more closer or more far. More, uh, and going to... And going to prepare the, the metal, the metal look uh, because metal is uh, shading in so dramatic way it has the different passes between uh, the highest uh, the highest threshold of lighting and darkest dull, dull parts uh, we have to exaggerate uh, everything and uh, here with uh, this particular method I use uh, this uh, we uh, could establish the very 3D uh, looking uh, shape and for metal uh, if this metal is sometime is somewhat um, glazing I don't know, there are uh, different types of coating for, for, for the different types of metal. Uh, I do for this very, for this uh, very type of uh, two, two, two models, uh, the Los Santos and uh, you know this uh, notorious, uh, this particular one, uh, this is notorious El Salvatrucha. Um, the string gang from Los Angeles, um, <laughs> weapon, weapon of choice, <laughs> two triggers, you know, to pull it harder with two barrels to boom, boom, <laughs> you know, <laughs> might kill anything <laughs> around. So this is formidable weapon indeed. And here I use also the references, uh, comes from the internet. This is a Japanese concept. And no, it's hard to overcome the Japanese uh, in their goods. But I do my best to, to, to withstand their their expansion on our market. <laughs> and here you see the first <laughs> the first try to to compete maybe on this market of sci-fi guns. Um, and here are the skull to look at more, you know mind-blowing to keep passion to, you know badass I'm sorry uh, for using this word and uh, especially because this is supposed to be the street, street gun gang use a gangland uh, it have to be posh it have to be, uh, you know as much as uh, blazing and uh, that's why I coated it with especially the chrome tile for which I used two pre-made brushes working in oil paint and water paint uh, mode in the uh, Manga Studio. Um, by the way, 
Uh, Manga Studio 5 provides with uh, just um, perfect set for the uh, electronic brushes. You, you, you could easily uh, tweak up uh, and change settings and uh, to and achieve uh, any type of uh, of brush of, of the surface uh, to to resemble any any type of, for this time you see uh, by means of two pre-made only two uh, specially pre-made brushes I developed a very realistic looking chrome uh, surface also I'd like to pay attention on to using um, photo textures photo textures is a key for um, this uh, especially I'm browsing through my library of um, metallic uh, surfaces different sort this is uh, you know the scratched metal which I believe would uh, fit uh, the best for the metallic uh, surface of a featured gun and I'm going to fit it up over the over the shape and then uh, put it into the mask mask outside selection that provides uh, the uh, very very same uh, method for all type of digital painting software as well as Photoshop and Manga Studio. It works practically the same way. And uh, then I'm going to unlock. I'm going to unlock it with a white color. Walking in the mask, I'm going to paint right directly into the mask and to show up a little more surface and you can see which will establish the shape which will establish the look uh, very realistic which is matters mostly and uh, to develop for me then later when I come to uh, 3D the actual 3D modeling in Maya and ZBrush I'm going to texture in and over uh, the pre-made 3D model and this uh, above texture I've used with my concept will be much of veil um, in this matter so now this is not only the resembling but this is actual development this is a test drive for the texture as well so uh, here I'm going to tweak up a little with coloring the textures inside the mask with uh, the, um, tweaking the temperature of color inside uh, check out if it fits only my this is my vision only my creative mind nothing else uh, I can I can help more uh, just like I see like I feel it that's I do I do only this way so uh, there is another one good looking concept left behind because we we found out that we liked uh, especially uh, these two two models Los Santos and El Salvatrucha um, also you see the grip the grip is metallic with a little rubber inlaid and of course of course this uh, memorabilia smile now cry later very good intimidating part which 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 help uh, the weapon looks the real the realistic and uh, also uh, the way with the part in into the overlay mode my uh, pre-made um, camo texture into the overlay mode over the shape and then uh, masking it out and uh, unblock with white color the same way we are worked with uh, the metal. Thank you for watching. Don't kill each other.